Gemini's, hi, welcome to Universal Guidance Tarot. Hey, it's time for your weekly reading. I'm going to shuffle these cards very well. If any flip over, fall out, fly out, I'm putting them back in the deck until I switch my shuffling around to allow the cards to come out. They're very, very slippery. And sometimes I have trouble just hanging on to them. So here we go. I feel like I've got a grip now. We're going to shuffle for Gemini's. Let's find out what you can expect coming up in your lives. Oh, there's a flipper. Let's find out what you can expect coming up in your lives for Gemini's. And another flipper. My goodness, they're going crazy today. I need a couple more shuffles for Gemini's, please. The universe. What do they need to know for Gemini's? need to know. Once we're done with this reading, we will pull out a message from your guardian angels and spirit guides and see what they have for you. This is a two-part reading. The overall energy of this reading will be the middle card in the first part of the reading. It's also a general reading, uh, so it's not going to resonate with everybody, but you can take from the reading what does resonate or think about a private reading. Just Send me a text or an email and I will get right back to you if you'd like a private reading. Which is sent to your email address, by the way. So let's get started for Gemini's. Please, universe, give us the cards Gemini's need for their for their weekly reading. Please, universe. Like to keep them in order for Gemini's. What do they need to know? Flu. Okay, let's see what we have here for our Gemini's. So I put the cards down in the same order that they come out of the deck. All cards are male or female, and um, all the kings and the queens are very mature in their thinking. Your overall energy is a four of cups. Someone wants to come back into your life, but you really have serious doubts or are really thinking hard about it. So this is what we're going to talk about in this reading. We have a few cards left to go towards the second part of your reading. So the overall energy here is the Four of Cups. There's that offer being presented to you. But you're looking at it as if it's a dead cup of love. Like, eh, you just don't see any hope there for it. But um, you might be contemplating, like, what would it look like uh, in moving forward if you were to accept this cup of love. So I'm going to keep reading. Let's find out why the four cups surround your entire reading. I have the nine of wands up in your highest energy. Yeah, you've been carrying a burden here. Um, this is a burden of fresh starts and new beginnings. I have a feeling this person has been in your life before. Um, or, okay, or you have been through the mill already with relationships and you're just not ready for another one. Let me keep reading. I have the moon. The moon is next to the nine of wands and right above the four of cups. This is the card for Pisces. So Pisces might be strong in your chart or someone else's around this reading. But you will be enlightened. This is a card of enlightenment. It's about hidden things being exposed or brought to light. Uh, secrets being revealed. So um, there is some enlightenment that is going on with you. And it has to do with this burden that you've been through or are in the middle of. And this love offer. This offer that wants to come in. So you will be getting this together. You will be figuring this out. I have the High Priestess next to the moon. So this is the card for intuition in the tarot deck. 
And there's the moon again, right there. And what it's doing is it's enlightening you, just like the moon always does. It enlightens you. But it's saying, listen to your head, your heart, your gut. Let them come together and pay attention. Pay attention to your feelings. Pay attention to what you're thinking. And trust and believe in yourself. You have a lot of answers right there within you. So you have the tools to figure this out. I have the Four of Swords next, to, or under the Nine of Wands and next to the Four of Cups. So the Four of Swords, you have been spending time alone, um, meditating, praying, or soul searching. You're trying to let these Swords of Truth and Clarity come to you, as with the High Priestess. You're trying to let the light come in, the understanding, because it moves you away from these dark clouds into the light. So, yeah, you are definitely figuring things out here. You're healing. That's a very deep healing, very strong spiritual healing card. And on the other side of the Four of Cups is the Four of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles is under the High Priestess. And, you know, this is about hanging on to your pentacles. Hang on to what you've got. You know, you may have been through the ringer. You may have been through some heavy situations here about moving forward in your life but um you have pentacles hang on to them and i tell you if somebody wants to borrow money right now it's not a good time to lend it out if you want to be paid back okay hang on to your pentacles you are grounded you're secure you're stable you have a lot going for you already and i know this is one of the th reasons why you need to really either not accept this love offer coming in this love offer coming in may be the reason that you have been in a big burden okay carrying a big burden but um, and healing from it though so i have the six of wands under the four of swords the six of wands is the card for success in love so all those wands coming up in the background are people who love and appreciate you and they're, they're celebrating love with you that wreath right there can symbolize engagement. So um, it's a very celebratory card. Um, this is where you want to be. This is what you want. Uh, it might be coming in. Let me keep reading. I have the emperor next to the four or the six of wands and under the four of cups. This is the card for Aries. Aries might be strong in your chart or around this reading. But this is about you figuring out who you are. This is what you're doing. You're healing. All this, these swords of truth and clarity are coming to you. You know what you want. Uh, I think you really see things more clearly now. I think the moon is doing its job in enlightening you about what is good for you, what you want, what you don't want. And you're going to hold true to yourself. Okay? So um, the emperor is very well liked and respected by others. So you are. And um, so you're going to figure this out and you're going to hold true to yourself. I have the King of Cups next to the Emperor and under the Four of Pentacles. This is water. Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer might be strong in someone's chart around this reading. It gives us two uh, for Pisces if we're counting. But the King of Cups here, uh, the energy is what's most important. This is you. You have a huge cup of love. You have one. Do you want to hand it out? Because you know if you accept this other cup, you'll be handing out your cup. And you're holding it close. Very close. You're not reaching out with it. So it's like, I almost feel like this reading is saying, just hold on to your pentacles. Hold on to your love for now. Uh, know what you want. And you, I know you want success and love. Get through this healing process with whatever was going on here with somebody else. And uh, follow your intuition, man. Your intuition is really going to help guide you forward. I need more cards for this reading for Gemini's, please. Oh, they're there. They're all there. Okay, let's take them out. All righty. So, we have the Eight of Cups here, Gemini's, right next to the High Priestess. You're walking away from this offer. You're walking away from love. You, the moon is again. The moon, the moon, the moon. Three in a row. It's enlightening you. 
you're really going through this period of enlightenment. You're spending time alone. You're following your intuition. You're letting these swords of truth and clarity come to you. And you're like a moth to the flame. So this is helping you to move away from this burden that you've been carrying. And I think it has to do with this person that wants to come back into your life. And you know that that's not what you want. It is not what you want. I have the Fool next to the Eight of Cups. So the Fool is like, you know, I think this relationship, maybe it got off, you know, quickly. It took off quickly. Um, the Fool is living in the energy of um, throwing caution to the wind. Um, you know, living in the moment. It's a really fun card, usually, uh, to be in that energy. Uh, dancing along with your head in the clouds, not worrying about anything until you come to the edge of the cliff. And that's, I think, what happened with this relationship. I think you came to the edge of the cliff. I think you started to look forward towards uh, more, and they were they didn't, okay? So um, that's why it's called the Fool card, because it's all this fun and excitement. It just it ends up just falling apart in the end because both people don't usually want to look forward at the same time i have the sun right next to the fool the fool's not even the fool has his hand out towards the eight of cups like there you go okay you've been through the fool's energy and now there you go into another life cycle i have the sun on the back side of the fool you have fresh starts new beginnings coming in with lots of love and lots of joy Beautiful. You're entering this place of the sun after carrying this heavy burden and being very disappointed in love. I have the seven of swords under the eight of cups and next to the four of pentacles. So you're, you're actually walking away. They were kind of sneaky or deceitful in, in a way. Untruthful, uh, lying, stealing, cheating, something deceitful. So you're walking away from this energy. And they may have gotten some of your money or some of your things or something like that. I know they stole your heart probably, but um, you're getting away from this energy. This energy does you no good. It really just helps create more of a burden on you. But look at you. Look at you putting down that burden. I got the Ten of Wands. See? You're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing in moving forward. So the Ten of Wands, there's no Eleven. Those wands are slipping out. The burden's going away. You're dropping those wands. Very, very good. And you're not even looking at that energy anymore. You're not looking at this offer. So you are definitely moving forward. This is the card for Cancer. Cancer might be strong in someone's chart around this reading. Um, and that also, you know, with the King of Cups, that's two for Cancer. But... The energy is what's more important. The chariot, this is all about moving forward. And you can move forward pretty fast if you snap those reins. Now, you're moving towards the sun, a, a, a much better, a much happier, loving place in your life. And um, you're doing that by putting down this burden and walking away from uh, a, an energy here, someone who's in your life who um, was really um, putting a big burden on you. I have the Page of Pentacles next to the King of Cups and under the Seven of Swords. So the Page of Pentacles, um, yeah, you have pentacles. You have a pentacle um, that you would like to share with somebody. Um, this is a young energy. You're ready to start something new. You are grounded, but you would like to share that pentacle. And the Page of Pentacles is standing there kind of like just waiting until the right person comes along that you can hand that cup of love out to and possibly a pentacle. This is under the seven of swords. I think maybe um, you hung on to that pentacle and you're hanging on to these pentacles. You may, you learned some sort of lesson on whether or not or how and when to hand out your pentacles. Uh, you don't want to hand it out to any deceitful energies. Uh, you, really, that's not the way to route to go. I have the Knight of Pentacles next to the Page of Pentacles. I do feel like maybe part of this energy up here is that they did take your heart. You did want to move forward. You did want a commitment. You did want some kind of groundedness of some sort. And they were just unable to give it or unwilling to give it. 
So here's the Knight of Pentacles. This Ten of Wands, it's under the Ten of Wands, putting down the burden. Yeah, you're, you're, you're ready to wait for the right person to come into your life. One that's available. One that's committable, solid, grounded, stable. Um, you know, one that um, can offer the future. Can offer something to move toward the future with. They're out there. The energy, this is the slowest energy in the deck, okay? So they're out there, and I think you know it, and I think you feel it by going deep inside of you, that this one is not the one. Yours is still waiting to come in. And they're just kind of like taking their time. They're letting you go through the things that you need to go through in order to, to uh, realize and appreciate this person when they come in. Now, so just hang on to your pentacles. Don't hand your, this is what it's saying, don't hand your pentacles out right away. Um, stay, you know, just keep moving forward like you're doing with the chariot. Um, right now, you're not even in the mood to accept the pentacle. I got the five of cups under the chariot and next to the knight of pentacles. So you're moving forward. You are entering a much better place, the place of the sun. Um, the five of cups, you're very disappointed in love, okay? But there's two cups of hope right above you here, right above you. So, you know, you're moving towards that area. But first you need to finish healing here. And um, it looks to me as if um, there is someone out there, someone in the distance here who has just not come in for you yet. But you are getting ready to move forward. You are learning what, what it is that you want from life, what you don't want from life. Um, you, you want success and love and you weren't getting it here. So you're not going to let them come back in and hold you back from moving forward in your life. So that's kind of basically what this is about. You're going through a lot of healing. Trust your intuition, which I think you're doing here and moving forward and knowing what to do. You're very disappointed in uh, somebody here and you're moving on. That's what this reading is about. But there is someone out there, and they have a pentacle, and they are committable. They're grounded. They probably have a job, a home, probably a car, and whatever. Whatever's, you know, they're, uh, when they come in, they're going to be, they're a very grounded person. And they're coming in. They might even be an earth sign, um, because the Knight of Pentacles can be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So... That's a maybe. It's the energies that really matter here. Let's pull you out your angel card, your message here. Let's see what they have to say. This may or may not have to do with this reading. But we're going to find out what it is they have to say for you. We have the seven of action. So I'm going to read it to you. You're being called upon to claim your personal power. Feel confident as your angels will give you the strength to say no when it's the right thing to do for yourself. And that's what this overall energy is. It's refusing, it's saying no to that offer. Your struggle may actually stem from an unresolved inner conflict flicked rather than a conflict with others. So yeah, it does, it, it did feel like you have a lot to think about here. And, but I think you're resolving this inner conflict. You know, it might be about how you're moving forward. You might be going through a change, uh, a transformation of sorts on how you're looking at yourself, your life, and what you want, and how you're going to move forward. So that's a big deal. So Gemini's, this is your reading. Thank you for watching Universal Guidance Tarot. And I want to thank my guardian angels and my spirit guides for helping me deliver you this message.